This shirt will just cost you £3.50, but what would it morally cost you? This is Killer Couture, where we promote positive, accessible solutions to combat the climate crisis. Population keeps on bleeding, nation bleeding, still more It's funny, skies are sunny, bees make honey, who needs money more, more for me? Hi, I'm Georgina Ponge, and today's topic is slowing down fast fashion. What's it all about? Let's have a look. Air, water, land, earth. 10% of all global CO2 emissions is because of fashion industry. Fashion industry produces 20% of global wastewater. It uses 80 billion cubic meters of fresh water. That is two months of drinking water for the entire US. It produces 92 million tons of waste in a year. 85% of our old clothes end up in a landfill can sit there for 50 plus years. It would take 12 years to recycle what the fast fashion industry creates in 48 hours. 60% of our clothes are made of polyester or plastic. Which makes fast fashion a huge contributor to plastic pollution. Washing clothes releases 5 lakh tons of plastic particles, that's 50 billion plastic bottles. Fast fashion is predicted to increase till the 60% by the year 2030. Together we can make the change. To discuss this pressing topic, we're joined today with Naz, a pioneering young fashion designer. Hey Naz. Hey, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm great, thank you. That's lovely to hear. So, fast fashion, very commonly discussed, but yet we are desensitised to it. Do you think we should keep talking about it? Definitely. I think we should be talking about it every day, about everything. But I also think that it's talked about a lot, generally, but it's never talked about how urgent it is. Um, and I feel like as Gen Z, we don't have an option to be so stable anymore. Like, it's a need just to recover the damage that was made by the past generations. Mm -hmm. Honestly, and I feel like we need to stop waiting and actually get action together because we Definitely. have the platforms to do so. Yeah. So now to Melanie, who's going to show us how easy it is to buy secondhand. Hi, I'm Melanie, and today we're going to do some thrifting. Let's go. Charity shops like these are greatly reduced landfill and support local economies. But if you can't find exactly what you're looking for here, online thrift stores are an easy alternative. Depop, Vinted, eBay and others are very useful if you need something specific. And you can tell your price and size preferences. Five, well that was a lot of fun guys, but back to you Gina. After seeing that, it doesn't take that much to thrift. Do you have any alternative methods for people that want to avoid fast fashion but still want to keep up with the latest trends? Yes, definitely. Nowadays, there's so many ways to shop consciously. For example, there's many online like small brands where they literally manufacture like locally and like give you advice on what you can do. Also, there's like brands that rework clothing. Yeah. There's car boot sales that are really popular right now. Definitely. Yeah, and there's many apps that sell like secondhand clothing that are really trending. Also, vintage shopping is like the trend right now. So why not shop sustainable when oh, it's also the trendiest? Yeah, that's so true. <laughs> and finding a vintage find is one of the top best feelings. Ever. Definitely. So let's take a look at Naz's new collection. Hi, I'm Nell. And I'm Naz. And together we're making a sustainable brand called After Midnight. Our first collection is called Better in Denim and it's about reworked denim. It focuses towards the impact that denim has on the industry. It uses so much water. I think it accounts for 69% of the water that the fashion industry actually uses. For example, one pair of denim uses 7,000 litres of water. We have to consider being sustainable in every option of our lives. 
and I feel like we could do it in a fun way. So we're trying to like make this as fun as possible and create awareness about it. Little by little, hopefully we can all do our part to slow down fast fashion. That was very impressive. But can you tell us a little bit more about your collection? Oh, I would love to tell you. <laughs> so my collection is generally about We Work Denim mm. and it's about the Aral Lake. Like that was my general inspiration. Um, the Aral Lake was the fourth largest lake in the world mm. and now it's like totally dried up because of the fashion industry. And I think that made me really sad because I'm Turkish yeah. and there's so much Turkish culture and history around that lake. Um, so hearing that like a year ago made me really sad and I wanted to like focus on that and show how this is like a visual representation of the fashion industry on the environment. Um, so yeah, me and my team wanted to create this line to create like awareness about sustainability by making it our core of our values of the brands and also like making it fun in a trendy way. That sounds amazing. Like taking a little bit of your heritage and putting that at the forefront of your collection. That is trendsetter behavior for sure. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so what made you take the extra step to be more sustainable? Well, I've always wanted to have my own brand and my marketing manager, Jazz, and my general manager and head of communications, Nelly, has also dreamt about this. And then once we started to like put the first step forward and meeting up, it was one of the first topics to discuss because of the situation we're in like nowadays. Like I think it should be everyone's priority to discuss. And we wanted to make our core values like set from the beginning about sustainability. And even if it's a small impact, I, I still believe it's an impact. And I think that every brand that opening now should talk about sustainability and prioritize it. And also like existing brands should take an extra step every day. Yeah, definitely. And you guys making the conscious effort is going to have that impact. For yes, sure. definitely. I believe in that. We could, we should do the best as possible. Yeah. yeah. So thank you so much, Naz, for your impactful work and being here today. Oh, thank you for having me. No problem at all. So next week on Killer Couture, we'll be joined by our special guest, Leonardo DiCaprio, who deeply wants to preserve this earth for his future wife. He was born just an hour ago.